All right, so um, just wanted to take a quick second to explain why we haven't posted anything for about a month. Um, we were being really consistent and we were coming out here and filming, you know, most days and everything was going good and everything is still going very good, but we got some pretty big news. Um, although we were expecting it, it was kind of a shock how quick it happened. So we found out that Jesse's pregnant. Um, this is actually going to be our first baby. So we're really excited and we just kind of took a little bit of time uh, for ourselves, you know, to kind of make sure that we had some things planned and, you know, we just took the time to relax and, and be together and whatever. So we've still been down here. We have been doing some little projects and not really filming them, but for the most part, nothing big. Um, so that's why we haven't been posting anything, just kind of been focusing, you know, on us and, uh, that's that's really it. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know why we've been gone for a while, but we're planning on getting back after it and we'll have more videos. Uh, with that being said, I think I think as of right now, we're right around like 315 subscribers, which we're super happy about. You know, it's way more people than we know. And, and the fact that uh, there's so many people following us, we appreciate it. Uh, we hope that more people want to follow us and uh you know, watch us through the journey. We have a, a long journey ahead of us and we are happy to have y'all. So thank you again. And, uh, we'll get to the videos. That beautiful truck right there that is in our pasture just dropped off our wood chipper so we just got the tractor and put the pallet forks on it and there it goes down the driveway i'm gonna Ooh, he almost just lost it i'm gonna uh catch up to him and see what happens all right the chipper's fine i think pretty sure it's protected pretty well in there but uh, he had it leaning back a little too much, so the box just tipped it over. But uh, super exciting. Been waiting for this chipper for a little while, but it came way quicker than we were told. They originally told us somewhere between six to 12 weeks, and I think I ordered it like three weeks ago. So it definitely came much faster than expected. So uh, Woodland Mills already gets a, uh, you know, an A plus in the shipping. Uh, as you can see, we got the wood chipper, Woodland Mills WC-68. Uh, went with kind of right in the middle there. I thought a six inch chipper would be adequate for us. I don't think we needed eight inch and four inch to us, I think just seemed too small. We do have plenty of trees that we don't really have any purpose for. Uh, you know, if they're a soft wood tree and they're six inches, you can't really use them for fence posts and stuff like that. So we went with the six wood or six inch um that way we can get some some softwood through there uh of that diameter and uh got a whole bunch of wood i'm going to flip this around and show you just one of the piles that we have uh unfortunately there's a whole lot more than just the one pile. Kind of as a size reference here you can see the side of my truck and huge pile of junk over there so this is all stuff that we've kind of just been clearing out from around the barn um most of it's pretty small diameter stuff, but on the other side, you can definitely, you can see some stuff closer to four inches. A lot of it's hardwood. So um, glad that I bought the six inch chipper just cause I mean, for us to go through this pile, we're gonna make a whole lot of debris and, and put a whole lot of uh, use out of that thing. So uh, that's kind of just one pile that we got and we're gonna get some hydraulic fluid in it and get it cranked up. So here is the Woodland Mills WC-68. That's what we decided to go with. Uh, my dad and I set it up yesterday. It took us, I don't know, I'd say maybe about 45 minutes uh, to get it all set up. It's really not too difficult. Um, 
you know, there's, there's really not that many steps, but having two people is pretty important. Uh, doing it on your own, it's possible, but it definitely would be a little bit tough just because uh, with this in-feed shoot, you're kind of putting all three of the pieces or all four of the pieces together at once. Um, it just makes it a little bit hard. You're kind of trying to do a little bit of a balancing act and stuff like that. So you could put it together with one, but I would recommend having two people available. Um, it's a pretty big unit. It's still sitting on the bottom part of the crate. Um, so that, that bottom part of the crate will be gone, uh, which you'll see here in a second. But all in all, I'd say on a scale of one to 10, it was maybe a, a four to set up. So uh, pretty easy to set up. Uh, just, you know, simple wrenches and Allen keys, stuff like that. So the WC-68 takes uh, five gallons of either an ISO 32 or an ISO 46. We went with the 46 just because of the hot temperatures. So that's a five gallon bucket. Well, here's the first look at the chipper fully connected. Um, all in all, I'd say it probably took about, I don't know, maybe two and a half or three hours to get everything perfect um, there is some more work involved other than just building the thing you have to trim the pto shaft depending on the size of your tractor uh, which is what we had to do so we had to trim off five inches on both sides of the shaft um, not too hard just used a uh, <clears throat> reciprocating saw to do it but there's some finessing that needs to be done it's not not super easy but not super hard either so there's a good look so we got the tractor set up over here and uh, basically we're just going to be shooting the wood chips just kind of out in this area. <clears throat> we don't really need that area at all so we figure we can always scoop it up later. And we got a big old debris pile set up. A couple of the bigger pieces and then we still have all that. But the initial test is just going to be this big old junk pile right there. All right, well, here is the road that you just saw all of that junk. And as you can see, just one tiny little pile of chips. So it's pretty efficient. It brings them down to a nice fine chip. And uh, we had a pretty big chunk of wood that's now almost nothing. So that whole pile right there that we still have to do, I mean, it's probably still only gonna be a, maybe a two foot high of wood chips so it's nice it it definitely breaks everything down into a small footprint so as you can see here's the wood chips again and uh, that's kind of what we're working with we did have a lot of pine trees or pine branches that still had leaves on them or needles on them so those don't really get chopped because they're so light but if you get a, get a good handful of, let's see, you get a good handful without needles, some pretty decent chips. All right, hopefully you can still hear me over the sound of the chainsaw. Um, if you can kind of see right here, we have an access road that we can ac access the property from. It started to get pretty overgrown, so we're just gonna come by and start chainsawing all these sweet gum trees. I was waiting for him to stop um, and uh, over time we're just gonna slowly start cutting to access that but then also just keep on cutting all that stuff all the way down to the front so it's a lot of work okay we got the chipper hooked up 
and our huge pile of uh, junk trees that we're gonna chip. Well, we learned something about the uh, chipper <laughs> um, because this stuff was just cut, you know, in the last hour, very green and, and moisture filled still. So this started uh, backing up on the inside. And as you can see, all this beautiful, almost compost like <laughs> material just got clogged in there. Um, so it, it stopped coming out of the infeed chute and uh now we gotta clean it up so we're gonna have to rethink our plan because we might not be able to chip all this while it's totally green Well, here is the final product. Boom, there's the pile. So just wanted to talk a little bit about the wood chipper, just give my final review. Um, again, it's a Woodland Mills WC68. Uh, it's a six inch chipper, PTO driven on the tractor. Um, it's awesome. So we've used it numerous times. Uh, we've only used it really twice for like big, you know, big chunks of cutting, but we've used it a bunch. Um, it breaks down a whole big old pile into a pretty little bitty pile of uh, shavings or of chips, whatever. So overall, I really enjoy it. I mean, it is expensive. You know, there are cheaper options out there. If you don't have quite as much to chip as we do, then it might not be a bad idea to look at something that's a little cheaper, you know. Um, of course, if you think you're gonna be using it consistently, maybe you can consider getting one that's gas driven, you know, has its own motor. The reason I didn't wanna deal with that is because when you have all these different implements that have their own motors, during the winter when you might not be using it as much or whatever, you have to make sure you're still running that machine so that that engine doesn't, you know, go bad and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just figured it was nice. It's PTO driven. We're, we're driving the tractor, you know, at least every other day, year round. So I don't have to deal with another engine, which is nice. Um, that being said, every time we want to run the chipper, we're putting hours onto the tractor. So that comes with maintenance, you know, more frequent oil changes, stuff like that. But in the grand scheme of things, the tractor is going to last us a really long time. I'm not really worried about the chipper. I don't think it'll have a huge effect on the overall life uh, span of the tractor. So long story short, um, I really enjoy the Woodland Mills uh, wood chipper. It's done a great job. I mean, we haven't used it a whole lot, but I know we have a whole lot to do uh, for many, many years. We're going to be chipping wood. So 100% worth the money. Um, again, I, I want to say we spent just around 3500 bucks on it. Um, with tax and shipping, it might have been closer to 38 I'm not sure. Um, you can find it on their website. They do tell you the price up front, which is nice. Um, so that's really all I had to say. I'm going to close this one out. And thank you again for following us. And sorry that it's been so long since we uh, posted anything. So we will see you on the next one.
Okay, we got the chipper hooked up and our huge pile of uh, junk trees that we're gonna chip. So I don't know how well you can see it right now because of the shade. Um, it's a massive amount of trees, might not look like it, but my dad's 6'4 and it probably goes for 20 feet that way. So huge pile we're gonna just kind of chip here in the corner and then that tiny pile over there is the good stuff. <laughs> 